Good day, my viewers. It's no more in news that this year, WAEC Chemistry 2024 practical is a redos titration. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining likely questions on WAEC uh, redos titration. This is not to tell you that this is the exact question that you should expect, but this is a model question. You should expect similar questions like this, or when you see questions like this, how you have to solve questions involving redos titration. So join me as we work these questions together. Chemistry practical, why 2020? Like I said earlier, it's a redos titration. A is a solution of 0.01 mole per dm cube KMNO4. That is potassium per manganese. B is a solution of ion 2 tetra osmosulfate 6 of unknown concentration. Put A into the bread and pipette 25.0 cm cube of B into a conical flask. Add 10.0 cm cube of dilute H2SO4. That is, we have to acidify ion 2 sulfate. We have to add conk uh, H2SO4. When you are preparing it, you can check other videos in the channel. And titrate with A. Repeat the titration to obtain concordance value. The table of these titrations too, I have explained uh, how to draw your table of value for titration. How to draw your title value. And you are going to avoid all errors possible. You can check other videos in the channel to see videos that I have made talking about how to create a uh, the table that is void of error. Okay? Tabulate your readings and calculate the average volume of A use. Now, this is the equation of the reaction. The equation of the reaction is, you know, since we are dealing with redox titration, it's going to be ionic. This is the equation of the reaction. And then from your results and uh, information provided, calculate Roman figure one, concentration of B in mole per dm cube, concentration of B in gram per dm cube, number of moles of ion two. In the volume pipetted, in the volume of B pipetted, and then we are given atomic masses of the element. Now, listen to me and listen carefully. How to draw your table, you can check other videos in the channel to see how you can draw your table without losing any mark. Because that your table alone will fetch you eight marks, and when you calculate average volume and all that, you are going to get 10 marks in all for your table. So, check other videos in order to avoid errors while you are creating your table. Right now, I want to solve this, and because of that, we'll just pick a value for our uh, volume of A. So, our average volume, which we call tighter, we just pick a, a value. Let's say I pick 18.20 cm cube. This is just a speculative value. This is not to say this is the exact value you are going to get. I just pick an assumed value for this kind of calculation. Please listen to me. It's possible the questions change the narrative because redox titration is different from conventional titration. The one you are going to use acid and base. If the question change the narrative by calling KMNO for B and calling uh, FeSO for A, any reagent that you put inside your bread is representing your conventional A, the one we call acid. Any solution that you fill into your bread. So if the question is calling KMNO4B and it is KMNO4 you are asked to put inside your bread, it means that the table of value you are going to draw will be for KMNO4. Please take note of that. Any value can be used. It can be C, it can be D. But just make sure that the table of value you are going to draw is meant for the chemicals you put inside your bread. I hope th that is taken. So let's quickly solve this question now. Now, we are given the, uh, all the necessary information. The first thing is to calculate concentration of B in mole per dm cube. And remember, you can say conch of B, which, which is our CB, is equal to gram in 1,000 centimeter cube, which is the same thing as gram per dm cube, divided by molar mass. Molar mass. So we can use this formula to calculate conch of B. But... The question is asking to calculate conch of B, we were not given mass concentration in the question. Automatically, we can't use this formula straightforward because in the question, there is nowhere we were given concentration of what? Of B. 
I mean mass concentration. Since this one cannot go, we are going to use the conventional formula, which is Savannah. CA, VA over CB, VB is equal to NA over NB. Please take note, whatever value that they used to represent chemicals that is filled inside the bread is what you should use. I mean the letters. That doesn't mean that we can have A or two and B or two. It can be C, it can be D. But just make sure that the, the reagent you put inside your bread is the one that will be up all over here. And the one you put inside, the one you pipetted will be the one that will be down at the numerator here. Okay. I mean as a de uh, denominator. Now, let's substitute the value inside the formula. Our CA, we have been given to be 0 0.01 multiplied by our VA. This is our title value now. Our assumed title value which is 18, 18.20, divided by our uh, CB, which is unknown, multiplied by our VB. Automatically, our VB will be what? 25. Is equal to, now, the mole ratio of acid to base. The mole ratio of A is the number that we use to balance this chemical equation, which is 1. 1 divided by the mole ratio of B, which is a 5. That is 5. Now, please take note that anytime you are making use of this formula, you are going to write, you are going to substitute the value inside the formula correctly. First, anytime you are making use of this formula, the first thing you need to do is to correctly substitute the value inside the formula first so that you are going to get your full mark. If you do not do that, you are going to miss mark. I hope you understand that. So after then, we will now make CB the subject of the formula. Making CB the subject of the formula, what are we going to have? Our CB is equal to, just multiply like this, we cross multiply. Do you understand? That will be 0 0.1, 0 0.01 multiplied by 18.20 multiplied by 5. That's how to cross multiply. Divided by, you know, divided by what? 25 times 1. So, when we have cross multiply now, I've told you, yeah. If you correctly substitute this value, you are going to get two marks here. The more ratio here will get you one mark, and then correct substitution will also fetch you one mark. Here, that we are making CB the subject of the formula, you are going to have, you are going to get one mark for making CB the subject of the formula. So the final answer, which is our CB, is now equal to 0 0.0366 times 4 per dm cube, more per dm cube. 0.0364 more per dm cube. Please note that your CB must be in three significant figure. Zero starts this value. That's why I leave it like that. This is three significant figure. Your CB must be three significant figure if you are going to get your mark for that CB. Now, let's move to the next question. The next question, concentration of B in gram per dm cube. And I've said it before that punk of B is equal to gram in 1,000. This gram in 1,000 is the same thing as gram per dm cube divided by molar mass. And remember, we have calculated our CB, which is 0 0.0364. Please make sure you use correct unit. All right? We just substitute this into the formula, and then we are going to have 0 0.0364 is equal to Let's just represent our gram per dm cube with S divided by the molar mass of B. And remember that our B is FeSO4. Our B is what? FeSO4. So this is the molar mass we are going to calculate. So calculating this molar mass, please make sure you show your calculations. Show your calculations in when you are working. Don't just calculate molar mass somewhere and then insert it. Make sure you, you do the calculation. So, FEA is what? Is 56 plus uh, sulfur is 32. This, this is atomic masses. Plus oxygen is 16. 16 multiplied by 4. So, addition of everything here will give us molar mass. Remember that we want to make this our mass con, which is gram per dm cube, the molar mass. I mean, we want to make gram per dm cube, which is our mass concentration, the subject of the formula. So what do I have? Let me just say gram per dm cube 
which is the same thing as the S I'm putting here, is equal to uh, 0 0.0364 multiplied by addition of everything here will give us 152. Addition of everything here will give us 152. Our final answer, 5.53. 5.5. Please take note when you are your final answer for mass concentration should also be in three significant figure or in all you are going to have three yes I mean three significant figure if you have a, a number before decimal it will be two decimal place if you have two number before decimal it will be one decimal place so don't forget the unit for mass concentration is what gram per dm cube so let's move to the Next question now, which is the last one. Number of moles of ion 2. To calculate number of moles, there is a formula for it. This mole can be, can, we can change it to amount. Moles and, and amount are used interchangeably. So we can say mole is equal to molarity. Molarity multiplied by volume. This volume must be in centimeter cube divided by 1000. So our mole for ion 2 will now be mole is equal to the molarity of uh, ion 2. That will be the concentration in mole per dm cube. This molarity is measured in mole per dm cube. And we are going to use the one for B, which is the value we got the other time. 0 0.036 multiplied by the volume here is the volume of the pipette, which is 25, divided by 1,000. So our mole is equal to let's press our calculator to get the answer our mole is equal to 0 0.00091 the unit of mole is t mole so this is what we are asked to calculate in the next class we are also going to consider another questions that involve redox titration i mean redox calculation so if you have not subscribed make sure you do thank you